Finding Equations from Graphs Lines on a graph have equations that express all their solutions. The equation we will discuss in this topic uses the slope and the y-intercept of a line and is called the slope-intercept form. Let's start with the definition of slope, in which two points on a line are given by the ordered pairs x1, y1 and x2, y2. As a first step, let's just name the coordinates for the second point x, y, rather than x2, y2. That will be true for any point on the line, not just one point, and will allow us to write an equation for all points on the line. To find the slope of the line m as y minus y1 over x minus x1, or change in y over change in x. Slope is the measure of how steep a line is and in which direction it is pointing on the coordinate plane. The greater the magnitude of the slope, the greater the steepness. The slope of a line pointing to the right is positive, pointing to the left is negative. Both lines point to the right. They point uphill to the right. So both change in y and change in x are positive. When you go from a point here to a point there, you go in the positive direction in the x uh, axis here, and then you go in a positive direction in the y. Since they're both positive, the slope is positive. The slope is change in y over change in x. Line A is steeper than line B. The change in y is greater than the change in x. And the magnitude of its slope is greater than line B. Both lines point to the left. So what that means is that if you're going uphill on the line, it's going to the left. Therefore, change in y is positive, but change in x is negative. So the slope is negative. Change in y is positive, change in x is negative. Line A is steeper, so the magnitude of delta y is greater than the magnitude of delta x, and the magnitude of its slope is greater than line B. Line A has an infinite slope since the change in x equals zero and you cannot divide by zero. Line B has a zero slope since the change in y is zero. So zero divided by a number that's not zero is just zero. But you cannot find the slope of line A since you would then be dividing by zero. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. m is the slope of the line. b is the y-intercept, the y-value of where the line intersects the y-axis at the point 0, b. And x, y is any of the infinite points that satisfy the equation. This is the form of the equation of a line that is most often used. If you're provided a graph of a line you can calculate m and read b directly from the graph. That allows you to write the equation of the line directly, which you can then use to find any other needed points. The line shown in the coordinate plane to the right has a y-intercept at the point 0, negative 2 and has a slope 3 over 4 because you go up 3 over 4 to go from one point on the line to another point on the line. Therefore, the equation of this line is 3 fourths x minus 2. Write the equation for the line shown in the graph to the right. All right, so we have y equals mx plus b. So let's look at that y-intercept. It's just 0. See how the line goes right through the origin? So that's going to be plus 0. The x stays as x. And what's the slope of the line? Well, let's pick two points on the line the origin and this point right here. To get from here to here, we go up five units and then over five units. So what's five divided by five? That's a slope of one. Like you go up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. Therefore, m is one. So y equals, you don't need to put the one, right? Because you're, you don't have to. So it's just x, you drop the plus zero this line is y equals x. The slope of the line is 1. The y-intercept is 0, comma 0. It's just the origin. 
Therefore, the equation of the line is y equals x. If you plug in any number for x, you get the same number for y. So for example, if you put in x equals 2, 2, you get y equals 2. Write the equation for the line shown in the graph to the right. All right y equals mx plus b. Let's find that slope first. So we need two points on the line. There's a point, and let's find a place where the line goes right through an intersection. It looks like it's going right through this point here at 5 comma 4. Okay, so to get from this point to that point, we're only going to go up 1, but we're going to go across 5. So the slope is 1 fifth. All right, x plus b. So the y-intercept is 1, 2, 3. Therefore, that's the equation of our line, 1 fifth x plus 3. All right, so once again, the slope of the line is 1 fifth because we go up 1 over 5. The y-intercept is 3. Therefore, the equation of the line in slope-intercept form is y equals 1 fifth x plus 3. Write the equation for the line shown in the graph to the right. right. Y equals mx plus b. So what is this slope? Well, the line is actually pointing up to the left, which means it's negative slope. You can also think of as you move to the right, you're going downhill. So that's negative slope. All right, here's our point, one point. Here's another point. To get from this point to that point, you go up 2 over 1. That's your slope, 2 over 1, which is just 2, or in this case, negative 2. x plus, and the y-intercept is right here at 0, 1. So therefore, this is the equation for the line. y equals negative 2x plus 1. Once again, the slope of the line is negative 2. The y-intercept is 1. Therefore, the equation of the line in slope-intercept form is y equals negative 2x plus 1. Write the equation for the line shown in the graph to the right. All right, well, the slope of this line is 0 because there is no change in y. We don't rise over run. We don't rise at all. So y equals mx plus b, but m is 0. So this whole term goes away. What is the y-intercept? 4. So therefore, no matter what x value you have, the y value is 4. See that? No matter what input you give for x, the output will always be 4. Once again, the slope of the line is 0 since the change in y is 0. The y-intercept of the line is 4. Therefore, the equation of this line is y equals 4.